fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> did more to bring law and order to the early western United States than the masked rider of the plains. Astride his great horse, Silver, he rode tirelessly in the cause of justice. History does not record his deeds, but his memory will never fade from the minds of those who have heard the stories of his adventures. Return with us once more to the thrilling west of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Blackfoot Hills. Donald's waiting there. Hail Silver! The trail leading to Fort Paxton narrowed as it crossed the Blackfoot Hills. For more than three miles, it was a dangerous ledge with a drop of hundreds of feet below and a sheer granite wall rising above. As our first act opens, we see the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, following the trail westward. Bull Kramer's gang is somewhere in these hills, Tonto. Oh, them not far now. Have you noticed any new signs, Kimosabe? Tonto, fine. Only place where them camp. That's something I can't understand. Until last night, they seemed to be following this trail. But today, there's no sign of them. Maybe soldier hide sign. Yes. The party of soldiers ahead of us may have covered their tracks. How far ahead are the soldiers, Tonto? Um, one mile. Maybe two. I wonder if Bull could have learned of the money they're taking to the fort. Bull, find out. Many things. Well, if he's learned the soldiers have at least $40,000 with them, he'll do anything to get it. What army do with cash? Part of it is the army payroll. The rest is for the Indian agent at Clear Lake. Oh. I hope Bull knows nothing about it, but I... What's that? Go, Silver. Oh, 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 my fellow. Oh. Oh, that sounded like blasting powder. Huh? Why would anyone use blasting powder in this part of the country? There are no mining here. There's no mining and no farming. Wouldn't have been used to clear stumps. And plenty big noise. Can you tell where it came from? Come from up trail. That's where the soldiers are. I wonder... What do you think? I wonder if Bull Kremer could have had anything to do with that blast. Oh, that may be right. We're going to find out right now. Come on, Silver. Get him up, white fella. <laughs> Flash ahead of the masked man. The blast had started a thundering avalanche of rocks and earth which completely blocked the narrow trail followed by the soldiers. 
We hear Lieutenant Jack Harris in command of the small detachment shouting orders to his confused men. Turn your horses, men. We've got the back trail. What's down in that blame line? I get them killed. Look, some of the trail's been carried away. Lucky for us, we want you to go. You, Simmons, straighten those horses out. Barker, stay away from the edge of the trail. There's a thousand foot drop. Begging your pardon, sir. But ain't there no chance of going ahead? Uh, the trail's completely blocked, Sergeant. Blasted? it. That means an extra day to get to the fort. We'll be lucky if it doesn't mean worse than that. Huh? This landslide didn't start by itself, Sergeant. What do you mean, sir? Did you hear that explosion? Yes, sir, but I... Well, there's no time to waste, Sergeant. Take charge of the men. Get them started on the back trail at once. I'll handle them, sir. Hey there, Rickett. You ain't handling the bow. Ray, get that horse in hand. You're holding up everything. Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Right here. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what is it, man? I seen riders coming toward the bend. Riders? There's twelve or fifteen of them. They come down that gully back there. The leads from up above. I was afraid of this. One fellow was riding a big bay horse. And he's right powerful looking. Bull Kramer. Huh? Bull Kramer started that avalanche. We can't go forward, and he rode down from the cliff to cut us off from behind. There they come now. He's after the gold we're carrying. There ain't but six of us. What are we going to do? The best we can. Get up there. Come on, boy. Wait, where are you going? We've got to save that money. Come on, boy. Get along with you. Come on. Wait, Lieutenant. They'll get hold of you, sure. Come back here. Fight them off, men. Fire at will. Don't let those crooks get the gold. We ain't got a chance. It's full of tremors out there. There's two to our one. Hey, that fool right over there. trick is working out all right, Cap. That was a slick notion of yours, Bull. Setting that blast so as we could come at the soldiers from behind them. If we'd done it any other way, there wouldn't have been enough of us. Hey, we got them just where we want them. Hey, Jim. Get them horses that are carrying the cash. Hey, Jim's getting them all right. I don't like the way our fellas is getting shot up. Oh, there ain't any of them hurt bad yet. Yeah, but now we won't be able to make the Badlands in one ride like I was planning. I know you never thought of that. Once in the Badlands, we can split up and nobody can follow us. Yeah. But we got to make camp before that to let the boys rest up and may mean trouble. Hey, look. Jim and some of the boys have got hold of the lieutenant. I can see him. But I thought you told him not to take any prisoners. That gives me a notion. But listen, Jim. Jim. Bring that lieutenant over here. Hey, you soldiers over there. Quit your shooting or we'll finish off the lieutenant. Blast you, bull crapper. You'll pay for this. Jim, put the lieutenant on a horse and see that he don't get away from you. I'll take care of this fella, bull. Have the boys got the cash? Yeah. They've already started for the gully to get back on the cliff. Good. You rotten killers. (laughs) Now, don't go to fret, lieutenant. It ain't no disgrace to be tricked by a fellow as smart as me. Why, you... But what do you want with a lieutenant bull? I told you I had a notion, didn't I? Yeah, but... We're taking this fellow along with us. So that the soldiers come, they can't do nothing for fear we'll shoot him. Uh-huh. That'll give the boys a chance to get rested before we reach the Badlands. Hey, that's all right. Go on, Jim. Put him on a horse, like I said. Yeah, sure thing. Take come your on, dirty hands off you. me. Let me go. On, you. you can't get away with it. I got a couple uh, words for that sergeant over there. Sergeant! Hey, Sergeant! We ain't been firing because we don't want to harm the lieutenant. But by God... Keep we... still! I got a warning for you. Yeah? We're taking the lieutenant with us. And the first shot is fired at us means he's going to be killed. We heard you. Carp, and the boys have been shot and taken care of? Yeah, they're far along behind the horses with the cash. Then we'd better be... Oh. Hey, what's that? Someone's coming. We'd better get moving before they get between us and the gully. Can you see how many there is? I can't see a thing. Then we ain't taking no chances. Come on, fellas. We're riding. Back up the gully to the cliff. All of you. Come on, get up there. Who's clear now? But he's got the lieutenant in the cash. We're darn lucky he didn't get all of us. There comes two fellas on white horses. That's what made Bull ride off in such a hurry. One of them's mad. I don't give a darn. They saved our lives showing up just like they did. Bull most likely would have shot us all before he left. Hi there! Oh, 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 oh
What's oh, happened here? Paul Kramer just rode off. He blocked the trail, stole the cash we was carrying. And took Lieutenant Harris with him. I thought when I didn't pass them on the trail. Uh, they went back up to the top of the cliff. But I don't know There's how. There's a gully back there. They can climb with their horses. You must have just missed them. Now what are we going to do, Sergeant? I don't know. We ought to ride after them outlaws. But somebody's got to report this to the fort. Listen to me, Sergeant. Yeah? We'll all follow the outlaws. Down here can follow that trail without trouble. Yeah, but... It won't do any good to report to the fort until we know where the outlaws have gone. Uh, maybe you're right. Bull is probably heading for the Badlands. It'll be dangerous to lose his trail. He won't be getting there for a while yet. No? We shot up plenty of his gang before they got the lieutenant. They'll have to stop for a while so they can rest up. Then we'll find where they stop. Stranger, you sound to me like you savvied what you were doing. He sure does. So you just give the orders and we'll follow along. Are all your men mounted? Sure they are. But we got some wounded, too. They should be able to ride as far as the outlaws can. They can do that, all right. Then come on before they get too much of a start on us. Come on! Led by the masked man and Tonto, the soldiers followed the outlaws. Bull Kramer headed in the direction of the Badlands, but the condition of his men forced him to call a halt in the hills facing Birch River. They chose a place for their camp where they could fight off any attack. We hear one of the outlaws as he addresses his chief. How long do you figure we'll have to stay here, Bull? Things is worse than I thought. Maybe we'll be here a week. And the soldiers could be brought here from the fort in just a couple of days. That's why I brung along the lieutenant when I saw how bad off he was. Yeah? And I got a scheme to get us out of here without no harm. You have? Do you see where the river is? Yeah. There ain't nothing between the river and the Badlands but that valley beyond. But what about... We'll just leave things to me. Before I'm through, we'll have the cash and be where nobody can lay a hand on it. I wish I knew hey, what bull. you... The soldiers followed us here. I reckon they would. That don't matter, none. The sergeant and the masked fella just rode up to camp. They want to talk with you. They sure got nerve up plenty. Tell them to come on over here. I'll do that. What in blazes can they have up their sleeves? They just hang it to talk terms, that's all. They want the lieutenant back again. I sure wouldn't ride into this camp if I was in their boots. No, Silver. Oh, oh uh, blast you, Bull. What have you done with young Jack Harris? You'd like to have him back, eh? Bull, look here. Why don't you grab a hold of these fellas, too? Then the soldiers sure wouldn't dare touch us. Don't be fools. Huh? We investigated before we entered camp. Yeah? Your men can't be moved for several days yet. By that time, the soldiers can be brought here from the fort. That's just why We I... came here to talk. But if you make us prisoners, soldiers will know you can't be trusted. And will attack, even if it means our lives. Well, what about now, it? Now, suppose you keep out of this, cop. I'll do the plan with this bunch. We want the release of Lieutenant Harris. Uh-huh. And we want a chance to get to the Badlands. And perhaps we can come to terms. Nope. Not just yet. Why not? Before I'm going to make terms, I want to see every soldier from the fort outside there. Well, have you gone clean, loco? Don't be buttoning in, cop. I said it's what I'm doing. You say you want all the soldiers brought here? Well, I'll be darned. I'd sure think that'd be about the last thing you'd hanker for. You don't think I'm going to give you a chance to set a trap, do you? A trap? There ain't nobody but the soldiers in this part of the country that I'm afeard of. Yes? So I want to know where every blame one of them is. I think I know what you have in mind. If you do, mister, it's a blame sight more than I do. And if the soldiers are brought here, then what? That's all I aim to tell you right now. You'll get the soldiers and then we'll talk some more. We'll do that. But just remember one thing. I know how many soldiers are in the fort. And if every blame one of them isn't here, then the lieutenant ain't got no more chance of living than if we shot him right now. Come, Sergeant. But, uh, we'll go back to our camp. Then I'll ride to the fort. Maybe you fellas savage what you're doing, but I sure don't. You'll learn Bull's scheme soon enough, Sergeant. Hi, The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Bull Kramer stole $40,000 in gold from an army train and captured Lieutenant Jack Harris, escaping just before the arrival of the Lone Ranger. The outlaws, however, could not reach the safety of the Badlands because of their wounded. They made camp in the hills, facing the Birch River, and there told the masked man who had followed them they would not release their prisoner until all the soldiers from Fort Paxton had first been brought to the spot. As our second act opens, we see the masked man, after his ride to the fort, being brought into the presence of Captain Brent. Captain Brent. Well, what is it? I'll explain my errand, Captain. A masked man. He made me bring him, Captain. An outlaw. Get out of here. I'm not an outlaw. Read this note. What's the meaning of this? Orderly, put this man under arrest. Stand where you are, orderly. Put down those guns. Read that note. And I believe you'll change your mind about arresting me. Note? It's from Sergeant Murphy. You've seen him? You know what's happened to the money we've been expecting? The note explains everything. Hmm. If this is a trick, I... Good heavens. The money's been stolen. And Lieutenant Harris is Bull Kramer's prisoner. Orderly. Tell the bugler to sound assembly. We ride at once. One moment. But I... Captain, you'll have to take all your men. I'll take every man I can spare. I said every man. Nonsense. It is necessary. And I can't leave the fort deserted. Those are Bull Kramer's orders. I'm not taking orders from that outlaw. And the life of Lieutenant Harris will be in danger. But I tell it's you... It's a deadlock, Captain. You can take a part of your men and either attack the outlaws or starve them out. That's exactly what I'll do. But Bull Kramer is desperate. He wants to escape with that $40,000. If you prevent him, he won't hesitate to shoot his prisoner. He wouldn't dare. Why wouldn't he? Bull knows he'll hang anyhow if he's captured. Another murder won't change his punishment. But, but I've got to do something. I think I know what Bull's scheme is. Yes? He demands that you bring all the garrison so that you can't hold back soldiers to set a trap for him. I see. I believe he'll make terms for the lieutenant's release when you've shown him that your men are with you. I seem to have no choice. Do you agree? I do. Orderly, have assembly blown as I told you. Have my horse brought outside. I want every man in the fort ready to ride at once. Yes, sir. Now, I have a question to ask. Just what have you to do with all this, stranger? I met your soldier just after Bull Kremer's attack. Yes? Toto and I helped follow the outlaws. And I offer to return with a message to you. I think the sergeant's note proves the truth of your story. It should. Come. We'll be on our way in a minute. Good. This means that we'll probably save the life of Lieutenant Harris. But the money will be lost. I believe we can get the money too, Captain. What's that? Steady, Silver. Yep. You said we could get the money? Not only that, Captain, but capture the outlaws as well. Impossible. I'm sure I know what Bull is planning, but I'll explain later. We must get started at once. Orderly. Yes, Captain. Are the men all armed and ready? They are, sir. Then follow us. Up! Get along there. Come on, Silver. led by Captain Brent and the Lone Ranger, raced to the hills near Birch River, where they joined the small squad under the command of Sergeant Murphy. Then, accompanied by the captain, who knew the masked man's plan, the Lone Ranger once more rode to the outlaw's stronghold for a conference with Bull Kramer. Hold up there, boys. Stand right where you are. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh boy. What's your errand here? We want to speak with Bull Kramer. Uh-huh. He's been looking for you. Don't try no tricks now. You're liable to get shot. Don't stand there, man. Get moving. Hey, Bull. Here's the masked fella again. Tell him to come over here. Get along with you. Come, Silver. Get up. Well, Captain. I see you brought the soldiers like I said to. Who, Silver? Who? Who the who? But you've harmed Lieutenant Harris. <laughs> Chuck, you don't have to worry about him, then. We ain't harming him unless you fellas get stubborn. Where is he? You can see him right over there by that tree. Mm. All right. We've done as you say. Every trooper in my command is with me. Now, let's get down to business. Captain, there's just one way you can save that young fellow's life. Yes? First thing, you're going to line up your soldiers in that hill across the way where I can see them. And then what? When you've done that, so as I can see you ain't trying to trick me, I'll take the fellows that's with me and ride out of here. Go on. We'll take the lieutenant along with us. We'll cross the river right across the valley to the Badlands. Then when we're sure we're safe... We'll let the lieutenant go. One moment. Yeah? You'll release Lieutenant Harris when you reach the river. Now, look here. If you're honest with us, that'll serve your purpose just as well. 
The soldiers can never catch you before you reach the hills. I don't know. Don't but... listen to him, boss. You've got nothing to lose. Just what's your idea, Matt? If you let Lieutenant Harris go at the river, we can tell whether you've kept your word or not. You know blame well we'll keep our word. We don't want to keep that fellow with us any longer than we have to. We're running short on supplies, and he's just another mouth to feed. Those are the only terms we'll make. Boss, I'm telling you, it's just some kind of a trick. Ain't I told you not to keep out of this when I'm thinking things out, Carp? Now you keep still. Moreover, Bull, the fewer men you have with you when crossing the valley, the better time you can make. Yeah, in that sense. And you agree? Yeah, I don't know why I shouldn't. All we want is to get safe out of here with the cash. Like you say, the river's enough head start for us. And it'll be in plain sight of the soldiers. They won't be willing to wait until Lieutenant Harris can return from the Badlands to learn if he's safe. Then it's a bargain. Not yet, Paul. But the masked fellow just said it was... You'll have to give us an hour first. What for? I want to talk this over with my men. They may not be willing to give you a chance to escape. If they don't, they sure will never see the lieutenant alive again. We'll return to our camp. Then, at the end of the hour or before, I'll give you my decision. Yeah, that's good enough, I reckon. But if you try to send any soldiers ahead to cut me off... I'll know it. You have my word. Every soldier in my command will be drawn up where you can see him when you ride out of camp. They better be. Come, Captain. And you ain't getting one second over the hour either. Right. Let's go, friend. Come on, soldier. Blame it all, Bull. Why'd you let him talk you into a thing like that? And what's wrong with it? I don't know. You don't want to keep the lieutenant. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. Yeah, that's so. And I don't aim to put him on one of our good horses. So if he rides all the way to the Badlands with us, he'll be slowing us up considerable. Yeah, maybe you're right, Bull. It's just that I got a feeling that mask fellow was up to something. Carp, there ain't a thing he can do. If the soldiers are where we can see him, there won't be nobody to stop us. Now forget about your worrying. We got other things to do before we're ready to ride. Captain Brent, following the instructions of the Lone Ranger, waited until the hour was almost up before informing Bull that he agreed to the terms. Then, while the soldiers paraded in plain sight on the side of the hill, the outlaws rode forth from their camp, Lieutenant Harris with them. We see them just as they've crossed Birch River. All right, Jim. Cut them ropes on the lieutenant. Yeah. You rotten killers. You aren't going to get away with this. So still, won't you? How'd you expect me to get you loose, jiggling around like that? I'd rather be killed than see you men escape. <laughs> well, that ain't the way the captain feels about it. There. Uh, ropes is off him, Bull. Well, lieutenant, you came in right hand. If you hadn't made me a prisoner, you'd never have got away with this. That's just why I thought of this scheme. Oh, why let him get away? Why don't you shoot him now? Then the soldiers can't catch him. Why, you... Ducks, let the fellow go. I ain't got nothing against killing the line of business. There ain't no sense doing it for no reason at all. But I'm you always you. was too handy with a gun, cop. You've got a lot to learn. Now on your way, Lieutenant. <laughs> we'll meet again, Bull. If we do, you'll be the hombre that's sorry. All right, get along, man. Come on. Say, Bull, I just thought of something. Yeah? What's become of the mask fella and the engine that was with them soldiers? I don't know. What's the difference? But maybe they rode ahead of us. <laughs> Let him. You ain't afraid of just two fellas, are you? Maybe not. But that mask fella looked too darn slick to suit me. Come on. We're heading for the hills before the soldiers try to come after us. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Savvy, they can't get us. What are we going to do when we get to the Badlands, Bull? Well, I was thinking it'd be a good idea to split up. We'll divide the gold, then meet again when we come out on the other side. Yeah, that way we can be blamed sure nobody can follow us. Yeah, but... There's somebody ahead of us. It's a mask fella again. Come on. If him and the engine got any notion of stopping us, we'll shoot him down. They won't have no chance against us. Bull, huh? 
He's been setting fire up ahead. What's that? I see it. Well, I'll be it. It's prairie fire. The whole plain valley's ablaze. And the winds are coming this way. Hold on, steady. Hold oh, 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 We can't make it through them flames. We've been tricked. That's what the captain wanted an hour for. Yeah. To give the master yeah. another chance to ride ahead of us. And that's why he wanted to let the lieutenant loose at the river. Blast him. we got to go back. We've been burned alive. And the fire's getting closer. The soldiers are... with the soldiers. I'd rather face them than a prairie fire. Then that's what we got to do. Come on, fellas. Turn your horses. We got to ride for our lives. Get up, boy. Get up, boy. Get up, Scheme worked. Fire at will, men. They're coming right toward us, Captain. By golly, I'll knock off a couple of those bombers. Don't let a man escape. Bull is the man I want, Captain. I'll get him if it's the last thing I do. They've crossed the river. And there ain't no way for him to go except this way. Let him have it, boys. Teach a yellow coyote he's a third monkey with the army. Captain, they're shouting something. Cease fire. Hold your fire, boys. We don't want to get killed. Throw down your arms. The horses with the gold are safe, Captain. Good. All right, Bull, come forward. Hold your hands in the air. You only got us by a trick, blast you. But it was a trick that will put you where you belong, Bull, at the end of a hangman's rope. Bull, I told you I didn't trust that mask, fella. How was I to think I'm starting a prairie fire? Hey, you and your slick schemers. You shut your fool mouth. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Put these men under guard. We're starting back to the fort. I'll take care of them skunks, Captain. We'll give them a fair trial, and then they'll hang. But Captain, where's the mask man? I'm afraid we've seen the last of him, Lieutenant. But we ought to thank him. We're too late. There he is. Do you see him? He's riding down the valley. Well, I'll be doggone. He won't even come back to be thanked. After saving the lieutenant, getting the gold, and capturing the outlaw. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> 